We're constantly working with SSH key certificates and even license files and all those contain sensitive information. They are files that you don't want to commit in your repo. In this video, I'll show you a good way to work with those files. Hi, I'm Mo and welcome to the Code Lab. In Azure DevOps, you can easily upload these secure files like certs, SSH keys, even license files into the library. And once they're uploaded, they're encrypted and nobody can see them again. Uh, one advantage that this has is, for example, when you're working with certificates and you're copying over keys, you don't want to leave those behind. So the advantage of using secure files is that the file is encrypted, nobody can see it, and you can only use it when you consume them from a pipeline task. Next up, I'll show you how to upload a certificate, add it in a pipeline as a task, and also uh, use it in, a, in an Ansible script. Now that you have the file in the library, the next step is to add it to your pipeline. So you can just click uh, Add Task, look for Secure Files, add it to your pipeline, and you want to add it as a, as a step before you run the script so that the file can be downloaded to the agent. Uh, you can set the retry count in case it's a big file. Uh, it is very important to set the output variable so that you can reference the file here uh, instead of location with a, with a variable. Now that we've uploaded the file to the library and we've added the uh, task to the pipeline, now it's time to reference it in our script. So I'm gonna go into my YAML file, my Ansible playbook, and I'm gonna make a variable so that I can store the secure file in there. Next, I'm going to go into my pipeline and I'm going to check that the secure file is there. Uh, and really, I just want to make sure that I have the correct output, output variable so I can reference it in my script. Then in my pipeline step that is running the Ansible playbook, I am going to set the playbook variable to the secure file variable so that it can reference the path and use the file. I've used this feature in the past with certificates, SSH keys. It's a really good way to do an SSH uh, copy ID over to other machines so you can get your SSH keys for login. Um, and I've also used it for license files, so I highly, highly recommend it. Uh, but stay tuned. In the next video, I'll run the whole pipeline so you can see how I can apply a certificate to an IAS site with Ansible by using the secure file. Thanks.